Hey guys, my name is Brittany and I got surgery. Yes, I got surgery. If you follow me, then you're probably wondering why I got surgery. And if you don't know who I am, you're still probably wondering why I got surgery from the title of this video. And I will be talking about that today. Mm. Hi guys, it's Brittany. And today I'm finally talking about why I got surgery. So if you can't see right now, I have this giant scar on my neck. I'm going to talk to you guys today about what happened and if you saw my story from maybe a month or so ago, oh yeah a month or so ago you probably know that I mentioned about it, but I didn't talk specifics so that's why I made this video because I felt like it, I just had a lot to say so I'm just gonna get straight into what happened to me and my health and why did I get surgery um, and if I look down it's because I'm looking at my notes by the way so long story short I had thyroid cancer I just turned 20, so I was like, what? Like, what? And it's just crazy to me. Now I can, like, laugh about it because I'm like, oh my god, that's crazy. Not laugh about it, but, like, like, whoa, like, that's crazy. But, yeah, I just turned 20, so I was like, how is this even possible? If you Google, like, papillary thyroid cancer, it's, like, common in, like, people over ages 40 in women, but I am definitely not in my 40s yet, so I was very confused. And generally speaking, I'm quite a healthy person, I'd say. But yeah, so why I got surgery was because I had specifically papillary thyroid cancer. And I didn't know this at the time. When I was going to the doctors and everything, I had no clue at all. So um, it was quite a process. So what kind of surgery did I get? I got a total thyrectomy, um, which is where they take out your entire thyroid because my cancer had grown so big that it had taken up basically one whole lobe of my thyroid. And your thyroid is like this so it's like this little heart looking thing apple um and i had this huge lump in my neck for months like months and months which i did not realize so yeah that leads me on to how did i actually find out so my dog actually had a fat like lymph node swollen so we took him to the vet we thought it might be like something and turns out no it was just fat so that's great but <laughs> on the other hand i was not great and because we took my dog i decided i should touch my neck and just check out what's on my neck and Dun, 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 dun. I found a huge lump on my neck so um, it was my right side it had a huge lump and I was like this is very strange like this is definitely not normal but I left it for a few weeks just because I didn't think much about it so for specifics if you're curious I'm not sure if anyone's curious about this but um, my actual like tumor size was about 4.5 to 4.7 centimeters long which is essentially my whole thyroid and beyond so it was huge which is why they had to do a total thyroidectomy and take all my thyroid out and what your thyroid does is just produce t3 t4 hormones i'm sure it does some other stuff that's like the main gist of it which like kind of regulates your metabolism and all that it's probably like the best place to get cancer that's what all my doctors have told me because it's really easily removed and it's very slow growing which i'm grateful for but i wish i'd noticed sooner because then i could have just had half my thyroid taken out and not been on medication for the rest of my life. But yeah, anyways, so essentially now I have hypothyroidism um, because I have no thyroid, which is why I take medication. Yeah, people who have thyroids as well also can get hypothyroidism. I felt really bummed out finding out actually. Like it was not great because I was, first of all, really scared because like the C word. <laughs> I never thought in my entire lifetime that it would ever happen to me. Like maybe when I was really old, I was like, okay. But I'm like pretty young right now. I just turned 20. So I was like, what? is going on. I was really upset at the time I think and in combination with that I was very anxious that month just for various reasons and stressed and tired all the time and that was probably also because of my thyroid. So um, I had to get surgery and then now I have to get radiotherapy which I haven't gotten yet but I'm going to get within the next month or so I think which means I have to go back into the hospital and I have no idea what that entails so I'll probably do another video and take you guys with me because I seriously have no clue. I'm just gonna get on with the rest of the video essentially I went into surgery already obviously because I'm out and I have a scar. When I started filming at the beginning I didn't know that it would escalate to this point. Today I'm going to the doctors because I have this huge lump in my neck like right wait can you see it? It's like right there. Like when I swallow, you can see it. I'm going to get this checked out and hopefully it's all okay. So I don't know. I just thought I should vlog it anyways and see what it is because I actually have no idea. Like I Googled it and like it could be really minor or like bad. So I just hope it's like okay. I'm about to go to the doctors and I will let you guys know what happens. <laughs> hopefully it's fine though, but we'll see. Okay, so 
we went and got a blood test and then I was not like willing to do that but I did it anyways because I don't want to do it tomorrow and I'm glad that's over and done with now I'm going now to go get an ultrasound though on my neck because um, they don't actually know what it is yet so I guess we'll find out Okay, so we went to do the biopsy today and we got a few needles in my necky. Um, they did like general anesthetic stuff, whatever you call it, and then they stuck three needles in to check what's inside and we'll find out what is inside in three days. So hopefully it's all good. That didn't feel very good, but yeah, so it doesn't actually look that bad. It's just like weird because I don't like needles and especially like in my neck because your arteries are there, so I'm like... So we found out what it is and it's not good. So, I mean, I just thought since I started documenting this without thinking it would be that serious, I just finished documenting it anyway. So basically, um, it looks like I have a giant hickey on my neck, but it's not a hickey. It's supposedly cancerous, we can't be 100% sure, but she's pretty sure is what the result is. So we're gonna go see a specialist next week. And I don't know what my response is supposed to be because like, it's just, it's really unusual and really strange, but the good news is that it's fixable and I mean, I'm gonna see what the solutions are soon. Well, I know the solutions, but we're gonna see our options. Today we went to go see the doctor and um, we're hoping that I can just do like a half, um, I forgot what he called it, but basically it's either they take out my whole thyroid or half of it and I'm hoping it's just half because if it's half it means that I can still function because I still have all the right hormones being produced in my body but if not then I'd have to be on medication um, which is not preferable but I guess we'll just see because I had my CT scan as well which was not fun. We are and I don't want to go inside. And my boyfriend. Sorry, I <laughs> so I just got admitted to the hospital here. I was checking in, I'm pretty sure, and then they put me in this room where I had to put away all my clothes and get changed to their gown. It wasn't a room, it was just like a little divided section for before surgery. Um, and then I just waited for a really long time. I think I waited for more than two hours for my surgery, only because my doctor was running late on his other one. And yeah, I'm just like super nervous here <laughs> and waiting. Um, and then the surgery happened. And then I'm back in this room, which I wasn't in before, but um, they put me in like recovery and then put me in here. Ow. Oh my God, what the hell? I can't explain how much pain I was in. I was in so much pain and I didn't expect to be this painful after my surgery. So yeah, didn't really like that. It hurts to swallow. But, yeah, my voice is so grumpy. Anything, that, anything else you like? No, that's no. it. Thank okay, you. Why well, are oh, my voices so weird and my neck is so sore? Mm. Sorry. <sighs> it looks so ugly. I think probably that's all we, what we can all... Yum, yum, yum. So, uh, yummy. Yummy. So I ordered some food, as in my mum ordered some food, and I ate some, and then I went immediately to bed after that, and then I woke up to watch anime, because I couldn't fall asleep, as in I couldn't go back to sleep, so here I am watching anime in bed, and I really couldn't do anything because I was in so much pain and couldn't sleep either, so... Morning, it is day two, and I have to stay here another night, I think, and I'm really tight in the neck right now, so I'm really sore, but... They gave me more painkillers, so here for the painkillers. I don't know how loud I am right now, but we got to order food from this menu. Let's order this food together. Oh, you guys can't even see me. Uh, wait. Mm. So I had my pain meds and my thyroxine meds. Mm. Wait, what am I doing again? Look at the menu first. <clears throat> Hi, um, my name is Brittany. Um, can I please grab some um pork? So I ended up ordering a lot of food because I was so hungry. I was like so hungry. I can't even explain. And I had a really hard time eating. So it was like a combination of me being hungry plus not being able to eat properly. But it's fine. I end up ordering my food anyways. Yay, successfully ordered. And this is my room. I wanted to show you guys, I think, because why not? <laughs> it might be interesting. This was the room I stayed in. Um, 
this is it up close i guess <laughs> and yeah i slept in that bed and oh my gosh that's my blood right there yep and that's me going into the bathroom showing you guys what i look like i look like yep it's yep that tube right there by the way is collecting all the blood from my neck which is why it's in my neck and i'm holding it let me go back i can't even keep my head straight because it hurts such a weird wound uh, i cannot even explain how swollen i feel right now in the neck and my so you're probably wondering why my throat's sore as well it's because they put a tube down it so it's really swollen and stuff Okay, so breakfast came. I got white bread, peaches, and some fruits, some utensils, some porridge, other fruits, yogurt, and ta-da! I am so happy about this right now. Okay, time to try this. Why it hurts like a bitch to swallow. Oh my god, this is a fat tomato as well. I have no idea how I'm going to eat this tomato. I just looked at it and I was like, wait a second, that's fat. I keep piping myself and telling myself this is just a temporary feeling. So, okay, I'm going to eat this and chill out. Okay, I just want to quickly talk about like post-op yesterday. I might be discharged later today, so I can't wait for that. But in the meanwhile... I just let out the biggest burp in my mouth, but really gently, so it doesn't hurt. Yeah, yesterday after surgery, I was in, they take you to the recovery room, and I was like, not having it, like that was not the best time of my life at all, like no, I did not, I was like lying there, I was like no, 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 this is so bad. But, um, good thing is that now I'm feeling a lot better than yesterday, actually. I think also because she just gave me pain meds after I woke up, so I feel better. Yeah, it was... Like it's not a great feeling at all, especially right after I was like so sore here. And she, she was like, "How I can't even remember." She said, "How painful is it?" On a scale of one to ten, I was like, "Just give me meds, please." It was so sore. <clears throat> I want to cough as well, but I can't because it will hurt. <clears throat> yep, that's not happening. Can't get it out. Again. I don't know if I ever mentioned what I got. I got a total thyrectomy, which is where they take out your whole thyroid because I had a tumor in one side, which was really big. I think it was like 4.7 centimeters, so 47 millimeters long. It completely replaced my thyroid because my thyroid is a little smaller, at least from the CT scan. <coughs> but yeah, not cool. This hospital was really nice. All the nurses are really lovely. The service is great. But yeah, anyways, so they did an incision here, which I'm, it's kind of ironic because I don't know if I explained this yet either, but <clears throat> because I have this weird like mental thing about my neck, like I'm really sensitive to my neck. Like I used to not wear necklaces, only in the past recent years I started wearing necklaces because I used to get really uncomfortable having a necklace like right here. And I don't know, it's just like a phobia of mine because it would feel like someone could come and just like strangle me or something. And then ironically I had to get surgery here, so... Yeah. I don't know if that's a good thing. It's like literally one of my life's greatest fears is anything touching my neck, let alone like having to get it operated on. But you know what? I can say that I conquered one of my greatest fears. So, yay for that. You're tolerating quite well with that uh, painkiller. Really? Yeah, a lot of Asian people are. Um... So to explain what happened, because I didn't film me getting it out, but she basically took off all of the gauze and like the wrap on my neck and pulled out the entire tube, which was the full length of my incision, which I did not expect at all. That was so long and uncomfortable. Um, and I did not realize that tube was inside of my neck that whole time. But yeah, it was very bad. <laughs> we told it naive to stronger painkiller. Oh, really? Yeah. Lots of people have a very strong. Oh, sorry. Oh, it looks like an X. No, no X because it's hard. Yep, we're going home. These are my post surgery thoughts. Um, first of all, surgery is really scary. <laughs> I've never had surgery in my lifetime for anything. So for this to be like my first surgery, it was like a big surgery for me at least. I'm sure people have had bigger surgeries, but for me, this was like 
a big deal so I was really scared after the, like the surgery I was in so much pain like I can't even explain how much pain I was in purely because I didn't realize that you use your neck for so many reasons like first of all your voice box is in here you have like all this other vital stuff in here and generally vital stuff everywhere but anyways like turning like standing walking just functioning like you use your neck for a lot now that i think about it so yeah i was in bed for like a week and i couldn't move around because my muscles i think they cut into my muscles or something so um every time i would like do something with my neck so my neck was like this the whole week that i was recovering because i was in so much pain the reason why it was like this is because i couldn't get my neck straight because my muscles just weren't used to being like used for some reason i think it's they cut into it or something anytime I would do some random movement like even like the tiniest movement like right or something it would literally feel like something was like popping apart so I was like maybe I should just like keep it like this because it was so strange and it was not a pleasant feeling at all and also kind of painful so I was like this like most of the time that was like the most horrible week of my life and I am so glad it's over I just want to like gather my thoughts from this experience honestly it was just like shocking one of those like life-changing ones like not so dramatic that I'm like wow like I've become a new person but it did impact me in a way that I thought about some stuff and I'm like hmm yeah like I can conclude that this is what I think about life at present so I'm not trying to get too philosophical on you but it did make me think a lot in terms of like wow like priorities in life and just like whoa like things can happen out of nowhere and you just never know and have no control of anything I just feel like it's important to focus on things that are important to you and just there's no time to waste guys you never know what can happen which is crazy to me. And it just got me thinking about that a lot more, if anything. Yeah, if anybody's going through anything similar, stay strong, you've got this. You're stronger than you think, you've got this. It's just so crazy. I remember I saw some of your messages on Instagram. I couldn't reply to everyone because I was just like so sick that week in terms of like my, my just physical health and like pain level I was in. I saw some of your messages. I just didn't have the energy to reply to them all. But um, some of you guys are saying that, you know, you are getting the same surgery or similar. I just hope you guys are all doing well and healthy and safe and that all your surgeries also went really well and everything's like all fixed. And if anybody else is going through anything else, you guys, I hope you guys are all doing well and stay strong and yeah, you've got this. Anyways, I hope this explains a little bit more what happened to me. I don't know if I explained very well, but yeah I hopefully this was helpful interesting or entertaining <laughs> I just hope this helps somebody if you know you're going through something or a hard time like things happen in life and you just got to deal with it is basically what I'm trying to say so I love you guys so much thanks for watching and I'm doing a lot better now and yeah I'm recovering good I will see you guys very very soon and until then Brittany's out Mwah. I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for all your well wishes during my operation and before and after and just everything. It just really warms my heart and really means a lot to me. So thank you guys so much. I love you all and I will see you guys really, really soon.